What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Front Street Hoops. I really want to thank y'all for watching my videos and helping me climb up this mountain of hooping and discussing and sharing information on what's going on in basketball, most importantly, women's basketball. So let's get into it. Let's go. First and foremost, I said this in another video, at least every new video, we want to try to give a woman hooper or basketball player their flowers. And today we want to give it to Candace Parker. Thanks for what you did for the game to motivate young girls around the world and women to chase their dreams on the court. And what you did on the court will not be forgotten. And we look forward to see what you have going on on your next chapter and journey in your life. Good luck. Thank you. The title run for the 2024-2025 season has been lifted to further heights. A lot of teams are loading up. They're dipping into the transfer portal. They're looking to level out the playing field. Talia Van Offen has committed to the University of Southern Cal as expected. She provides a veteran presence at the point or the guard position. The 2024-2025 season will be good because the focal point will not only be on Juju Watkins, but Talia Van Offen and Kiki Arioffen will be able to share that spotlight and share the stage with her and get all the pressure off of her and hopefully help them make a deep run in the tournament next season. My main goal with this channel is to reach people who actually never thought about loving the sport or loving the sport again. If you're a Caitlin Clark fan or Angel Reese fan or a Coach Don Staley fan or a Coach Kim Mokey fan, I just want you to be a fan of basketball. That's my only goal. These people online treating it like it's fantasy football. I just want you to see the sport from your eyes, not nobody else's. I mean, my goal is to turn individual fans into basketball fans. All right, let's move on. Front Street fam, I want to say something. Because I've been following this sport for a long time, both men and women's. I don't think I have ever seen a team come off a championship run, 38-0, and and be disrespected the way South Carolina is. Some people took it as a sign that I was sending shots at the Gamecocks by saying they don't need people from the transfer portal. Real Gamecock fans online said the same thing. My thing is this. I just have to say that. South Carolina don't need nobody from the transfer portal. As it's constructed right now with our roster. We don't need anyone. Other players can go to other schools. They can dip it and do it and go here and go there, go to UConn, because that's what I'm hearing about our, uh, our Reagan uh, beers going to UConn. They can talk about that. They can talk about uh, Kiki going to uh, Southern Cal. We can discuss that. I don't know what LSU is going to do in the transfer portal. They'll get a break. Uh, Coming to, to, to South Carolina, being a Gamecock. And I say Kiki being interested because we know that there was a do not contact, which means don't call me, I'll call you, which means she called Don, right? We've been talking a lot about the transfer portal and we, if we needed somebody, if we, did, if we didn't need anybody, y'all know that I've been on the side that we don't need anybody. Part of that is just because I, I, I'm, I'm, I selfishly want to know if we built this thing right where we could come back and defend what we have with the way we built it without adding anything to it. My thing is this, we are not disrespecting or tearing down any coaches, players, or programs. Some people feel like South Carolina is being used for clout. Last year, Nisa Morrow said she was going for a visit to South Carolina. Next thing you know, she was on social media dancing with Angel Reese and Coach Moki. This year, Kiki Arioffin was supposed to go on a visit to South Carolina. Now she had on full Southern Cal gear on Instagram with Talia Van Offen, and now they're both going to Southern Cal. The charts are putting USC at number one, Southern Cal, number one recruiting class, number one players in the transfer portal, you know, in being Kiki Arioffin and Talia Van Offen. I just want to know how do y'all feel about these players in these teams against South Carolina. These teams who they're putting above South Carolina have not been battle tested. 
is people on social media saying who needs to play South Carolina. But these are UConn fans, LSU fans, Tennessee fans, Texas fans. How come none of them want to go play USC? I mean, before the tournament starts, somebody needs to test that. But we're going to slow down. There have been no official schedules released yet. We'll get more into that when we see the schedules of South Carolina. I heard they're supposed to go on a West Coast sweep. LSU, they'll play each other anyways. LSU and South Carolina are going to play each other anyways by them being in the same conference. Texas, Kentucky. Kentucky going to play LSU and South Carolina. Y'all know this. But we want to see what's happening because the UConn fans saying, oh, we already beat Southern Cal. This is a whole different team. So I just want to know how y'all feel about it. Like, share, and subscribe. All comments are welcome. All criticism, opinion. Remember, we building a sport and we holding it down. And on top of that, we lifting it up. Thanks, y'all, for watching.